Okay. There we go. Okay, so to reiterate, um, yeah, we were talking about the Stories and Light exhibition and all the great times we had there, all the demos, all the plein air paint outs, all the people from around the world who showed up and made it a wonderful event. We've got videos online on YouTube, our YouTube channel of up-to-date uh, daily uh, uh, highlights from all the various events that went on at Stories and Light. And next time is going to be Toronto. We're looking at venues at the moment for our next one. It won't be for at least a year or so. Uh, and then uh, I was getting onto brushes. So I was just throwing out some brushes. First of all, this is a this this brush holder uh, will be one of the mini prizes. We also have some brush kits from Coral Yi Chen. Oh, I think I left it in the other room. But um, anyway, I'll show you that, that next time. But um, it's also very nice. So we're going to have lots of contests coming up with all this uh, nice sponsorship stuff we've received. And in fact, I'm going to Rockwell Paints uh, this week and speak to them and maybe we can get more sponsorship, more uh, more goodies to give away to people. So yeah, lots of stuff on the way. And of course, we're going to have at the end of this meeting, the uh, prize giveaway for the auto watercolors. I'm going to put it in here and uh, mix it up. And uh, Lucy here will help pick if she cares to. <laughs> I don't know if she prefers to clean herself, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Da Vinci, very good brush. Da Vinci, I, I got to say, you know, even though $150 is a lot of money to pay for a brush, but it's for doing big, big, large paintings. It holds a ton of water. It's very sharp. So you can do lots of washes and then get in there really crisply and get, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a demo one of these days. I'll show it off because it's really, I'd say it's the best brush I've ever owned. You know, despite the price, I'd say, Yeah. If you can afford it then go for it it's quite nice and then yeah the princeton uh neptune that's also nice it's less nice but it's still pretty good 70 what were you holding, adele which one were you holding? Well, that was my favorite is a silver black velvet yeah those are also good. yeah it's good yeah, yeah. i know it yeah. yeah it's there's so many you know it all it all becomes preference after a while and there's are so there are a lot of good brushes out there so yeah. Yeah. It's hard to hold one above the other. It's yeah. anybody who says one brush is, you know, better than this brush. It, you get into the weeds, you know, you, you can use, uh, as I was saying before, I, I have brushes that are $5 that are great. And I've got water brush pens that are great. You know, there's the Chinese uh, calligraphy brushes are great. And those are, you know, eight bucks or so. So yeah, all kinds of stuff. A lot of the Chinese painters were using um, Chinese calligraphy brushes like uh, Danny Liu. She was very good. She was at the uh, the uh, the battle. Her st her stuff is excellent. She she showed around her uh, her portfolio and it's great stuff. And she would really get in there with the uh, the Chinese brush and do kind of a rake, and get lots of little lines going, and then she do a wash and just do everything with this one brush. So a happy a, brush. Yeah, well, kind of. It, it was a very thin version. It was only about a uh, you know two centimeters wide. So she kind of had the benefit of both. But and again, you know, you, it's an easy rabbit hole to go down of trying brushes out and you can just get lost in the... I find mine like that lose hairs. That's so a, that, been, Yeah, that's a I've good... been using them because uh, when we were in the summer, um, now I've lost her name, uh, our IWS girl that also is with the FPWC that was... What's her name, Mariana, who was painting with us at Wascana? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I always call her Coral by mistake because she's Coral's friend. <laughs> huh. Anyway, whatever. But Alice? she, she Alice, yeah, Alice, thank you. Yeah. I can never remember her name when I think of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Alice. Alice, you're talking about yeah. the artist, yeah. Alice. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she used those brushes. And so I started using them when we came back, but I found mine are losing hairs all the time. Yeah, that that happens with a cheaper brush. That's one sign of a cheaper brush is you start to lose hairs. Uh, but yeah, you know, and <laughs> that's why they, you, know, you can go down a rabbit hole with brushes. But at the end of the day, it's what feels good, what allows you to paint what you want to paint. So, but anyway, we can talk about this all <laughs> you know, the whole hour. So why don't we get to the uh, what anyone wants to show off? Uh, let's start with at uh, the end. I'll do the draw, so that'll be our grand finale. So, Michelle, do you want? Do you have anything you want to show or talk about? 
Um, sure. I'm working on um, this heron. Very nice. Um, I've got mask all over it right here, right now. But I um, took a course with uh, an online course with Michael Solonia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Solonia. Yeah. Mariana can tell us how to say it. She <laughs> she taught <laughs> Michael Salavioff. 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 There we go. <laughs> now we know it. <laughs> it's I was saying it really weird too. So Mariana had to give me some lessons. <laughs> I is that the is that the French uh, version of his name or the Russian version? Yeah, it's a Russian version. Yeah, just his his <laughs> real name. <laughs> So let me know. Good. Awesome. Yeah. So um yeah, so I've been trying to um learn to paint uh looser and um, that really helped me. Great. So I and I also I um did a ballerina, like he had a competition. And mm -hmm. there was it was a ballerina, and so you follow his his video, and then you know submit your work, and I won third prize. Oh, great! And so yeah. Michelle, this speaking yes. of this, this brush is one that Michael sells, and yeah. it is a really nice one. This, Wait, I can't um, see it. Which one? It's um, it's uh, oh the liner, polo liner. Yeah. Yeah. I that's one of the things I won was the solo liner and this one. Oh, and I have Ooh, a friend that nice. has that one. She just loves it. This one's losing, but this one's losing um um bristles. Yeah. Bristles. And I'm like, wow, well, that shouldn't be happening. I don't know why. Anyways, and uh, another brush. What was the other brush I won? So was your oh, course online or was it in person? Yeah, no, it was online. This color calligraphy uh solo mini calligraphy yeah and i have that one too and actually that one doesn't lose hairs it's a good one i haven't used it very much that one like i just got them so i haven't used them very much but yeah that liner is pretty cool i love that liner i use it every day yeah great okay um Anything more, or shall we go to our next next person? No, here? go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll unpin yours. Remove spotlight. All right, next, uh, Mariana, you're up. There we go. Oops. Hello. 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 Who's next? <laughs> Who's saying hello? Hello, hello. <laughs> I think Ian's frozen. Oh, there we go. Okay, it seemed to have uh -huh. dropped out for a second. Okay, Mariana. Yes. Uh, I haven't done much because I just uh came back from vacation i was uh in united kingdom for about two weeks mm -hmm. oh yeah and yeah I, I was mostly uh making uh pictures for my new next project great what's the project <laughs> uh still <laughs> still complete com contemplating on them and i submitted uh my uh watercolor before leaving uh to the three competitions that's the only thing i have now this one. Oh yeah beautiful mm -hmm. it's yeah, uh actually, I, the cold just... three three seasons mm -hmm. like actually... i don't know if it needs some explanations just like summer uh, fall and winter mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. very nice and right now I am working with uh, on another painting. I don't remember. Ah, oh, it's not here. But anyway, I'm not sure that I should show it because it's uh, still not still not done yet. Yeah. Okay. 
So you did not do any plein air in Europe? No, I think I'm done with plein air. I kind of <laughs> don't like them. <laughs> oh. I still remember the last one in Regina. Hey, if you get one out of 10 winters in plein air, you're doing well. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's something you, it's challenging. So you have to keep at it, but, uh, but it's fun. Yeah, but I remember Alice, uh, we talked about <laughs> her already. She actually, she confessed that it's so rare when uh, something good is uh, done during plein air. And she asks us uh, to make many photos during plein air, saying that, okay, light is changing, just make more photos to uh, to continue with the same painting. So what's the point then? Yeah, well, what some people do is just do small sketches that they then use mm -hmm. in the studio. Yeah, I can understand that sketches yeah. is uh, definitely for plein air, but if you want something bigger, it's, uh, again, you are just returning to your... Uh, Photos, yeah. photographs. Yeah. yeah. You should get about 90% of it done plein air, and then mm -hmm. the rest you can do in the studio. But uh, it, is, it is good for seeing for the colors. real colors. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the colors. I like that, and I just yeah. feel like I'm really more connected to my subject, and mm -hmm. also shadows, because mm -hmm. in a photo, the shadows just look so black, and, you know, they look a lot different in reality. Mm -hmm. Oh. Photographs lie. Yeah, there is distortion uh, with photographs. That's for sure. Yes, but I mean it's both because I I always when I'm plein air painting I also take photos so that I can do some at home as well. Mm -hmm. But I like I don't know. It seems like once I've done it plein air, I kind of feel it more when I go back to the studio too. I kind of remember what it was like in reality, but yeah. One more thing I was going to tell you that I was, um, for the first time I was in uh, Edinburgh uh, and I visited that uh, Scottish gallery, National Gallery, and I was looking forward to uh, to see some paintings by uh, William Turner. Turner. They have them. And unfortunately, there is a tradition that they put them on, um, um, on shore only in January. When the light is, natural light is so weak that they're not concerned about uh, preserving them. Only for one month, every year. Oh, really? Oh, dear. Yes, one, one month per year. Before. Yes, they're on display. Interesting. Yeah. So I didn't see them. <laughs> oh, darn. Hey. <laughs> I believe they keep them in a drawer to keep them from the light, uh, except for the, when they come out for display. Exactly, the yes, paint, exactly. That's why the they're paint. keeping them in such good uh, shape and uh, uh, colors for 200 more years. Well, colors were very fugitive in those days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, let's see who's next. Let's see, how about Rich? Okay, I'm going to try. I got a couple here. I'm going to try and turn this camera around. Uh, yeah. There's a couple that I'm... Oh, very nice. Capturing the season. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now, those are both... Those are actually both from the exact same photograph originally. And I uh, changed the, the land to water and changed the background to mountains. So it's just <laughs> all you can do with a photograph and just have some fun with it. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. Great colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice autumn colors. I, well, actually the, the one on the, the one on the right is uh, I turned them into larch trees because we get larch trees out here in the West that uh, turn, it's an evergreen that turns yellow and loses its needles. So mm -hmm. I thought I'd just do that for something different. And I like to push color. So that's basically what I've been doing a lot of lately. 
yeah that's nice. it yeah very nice work now do you uh is that on a canvas board or something do you stretch no, it on those, no those are on watercolor paper oh, uh, wow. arches watercolor paper and then i uh glue them to wooden panels oh okay and yeah, then i uh, how it stands up like that and then what i'll do is uh for well since 2002 i've been varnishing my paintings oh yeah but then uh within the last i guess eight months i've started to use cold wax on them instead mm -hmm. it seals them and uh makes them waterproof and they you can't hurt them so oh that's a good idea it's a lot cheaper than framing that's oh, what yeah, i'm and... doing and i just love it i love this the um the the, the look of it the feel and the, it's contemporary and I got a feeling that galleries would be more interested in watercolors because I also spray mine with uh, archival spray so that yeah. they don't fade. Yeah, I do. I, I used to use a, 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 a fixative from Krylon, uh, specifically that the kind they use for pastels and then use uh, golden water-based water UVL varnish. But uh, mm -hmm. I found that it... Uh, you know, it, you can do it that way, but it's a lot easier just to use cold wax. And uh, you can mount them on uh, the wooden panels. The nice thing is that you can uh, use, here we go, you use uh, Elmer's glue, an ordinary oh, white really? carpenter's glue. It's <laughs> acid free. It's acid free. So you put it down on the panel and uh, put a brayer to it and then put something heavy on top of it and leave it overnight and just trim the edges. Hmm. Mm -hmm. and, Do you have the pan? Are you using the panels with the little lip on the side or just, just a flat? No, uh, just a second here. This is just a two inch uh, wide, yep. or inch, inch and a half deep uh, yeah. panel. And uh, yep. so I've been doing that now like I said, for the last 21 years. So that's a great idea. Uh, it, it, it's, they're a lot easier to transport. They don't, uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, galleries hate glass and yeah. uh, glass is heavy. It's hard Spencer. to transport. It makes it prohibitive to ship paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just the way to go. Yeah. And then you have to mat it too. So no, this is this is much better. Yeah. Rich, what do you pay for a panel? A panel, uh, I probably well, I buy them at Opus, and I think I pay something like about about twelve, fifteen dollars. These are twelve by sixteens. Yeah. I pay about fifteen dollars for that, and maybe ten cents for the glue. And then the, the watercolor paper and the, the most expensive part of the whole process is, uh, and it's really not that expensive anyway, it's just the cold wax. And mm -hmm. Grumbacher makes cold wax and I think Windsor Newton too does, but I'm not sure. And there's Dorlin. I have Dorlin. Yeah. I'll show you Dorlin. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's just, it's just a different way of doing it and people like it because I it's clean so. and neat and contemporary yeah anyway, Rich, does, it, to... uh, does it change the saturation of the colors in any way what happens is the colors actually go back to almost looking like they were wet when you first painted them yep and it's like i found like i did a lot of research on it before i started doing this and when you put glass over a painting, you cut the light in it by 11%. And if you use non-glare glass, you cut it by 19%. And when I first started using the varnishes, I contacted Golden and uh, they make them. And they said it was archival for 200 years. And so I said, well, if somebody complains after 200, they can come and see me about it. <laughs> And so, this yeah, is, I have no, I have is, no problem with it. This is the Dor Dorland's wax. Yeah, I use that one. Yeah, I yeah, use Dorland as well. Uh, I've seen that Thank one you. as well. Yes, I have that one as well. And I use Mod Podge to glue it. That's a deal. Perfect. You can use uh, actually. You can use 
you can use a, a liquid uh, matte medium or a gloss that medium. Gel medium, yeah. I, yeah, that's, gel what I, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what I use. Yeah. Not but uh, depending upon the panel that you have, most of the panels are wood, but if you use a, a panel that has like masonite in it, then I would recommend strongly that you uh, give it a coat of GAC 100 before you start. And that will completely seal the panel off so it won't yeah. discolor the, the okay. paper. What was the last thing you said? You uh, used GAC, GAC 100. It's a, uh, it's a, tell you what they're using. It's like an interference, uh, inter well, not interference is not the right word. It prevents any, uh, movement of oils from the, from the materials to the paper and so it seals the uh, substrate so you can do that if you have if you're using a, a masonite panel rather than a, a birch panel so yeah, you... some people just use gesso too yeah just yeah. Yeah, so that's, is, that's, that's just to seal the wood right you yeah. seal the wood yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I used to use gesso, but uh, somebody said, um, I read somewhere that they think that the gel medium seals it well enough. So I've just been doing it with just the gel medium now. Yeah. I think it probably does. And like I said, if it turns yellow in 75 years or so, have them contact you and you'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll okay. turn it back to the group now. I don't right. say anybody has more questions. Okay, thank you, Rich. Uh, let's now go to Chris. All right. So, of course, I haven't been very motivated lately. <laughs> but um, I don't know if anybody knows who Paul Clark is in England at all or seen any of his videos on YouTube. So he sometimes is my go-to because he'll do these tutorial paintings and um, it just kind of goes step by step, right? And it kind of gets me out of a rut. So anyways, I finished this one. And no, we got a bit of glare here. That's might be a bit better. Never done. Nice. So are you remember to do that? That one's for a Christmas gift for a friend of mine who lives Halloween 365 days out of the year. <laughs> but anyways, it's a little fun. It was easy, super easy. Um, kind of led me down the rabbit hole of getting uh, uh, Moon Glow by Daniel Smith. Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. I love this color. <laughs> that is a great paint. Yeah, yeah. So. So I, I had to run out to Opus and buy some of that just to entertain myself some more. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for me for this month so far. <laughs> okay, thank you, Chris. And also very nice yeah. to meet you out in Vancouver. Yeah. Hope you can make it uh, to our next show. Gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Marcia, let's see. Takes pin. There we go. Um, hello, good evening, everybody. Um, I went to a class, um, a workshop in Newburgh, uh, in United States. I don't know if you know the um, Riverside. Uh, oh, this place. Yeah, it's a very it's a very nice uh, very nice place to have watercolor um, uh, workshop, and I think that I was a little bit ambitious because I'm 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 a beginner, and I went to Iod uh workshop. I don't know if you if you know him. No. Yeah, it, it was very good. Uh, and it was it was amazing because normally he's going around the world, but it's now he's based in the United States, so it's for us it's a little bit easier. Um as I said, it was a class, uh, it was a, a um oh, sorry, just a second. So I've tried it, so it was a workshop of 
self-portrait. So I've tried, I'm a beginner. I was very ambitious to, to be in a watercolor class with a lot of people in a, they, that they are advanced, but I just tried to do some, um, some things by him. And I think that I was so upset with the result in the, the last day. So I started to just to paint uh, little things just to relax and calm, to be calm, etc. Um, so, and about the, the brush of um, Michael Solovio, and mm -hmm. I, I really like his um, brushes. Uh, I am a vegan but he convinced me to, to have the brushes. So I have this one here and this one here that broke when I was doing the St. James way uh, in the beginning of this year. So I was painting in the middle of the, the St. James way in Spain, but I, I couldn't throw away because it was a very special a moment when I, I've got these brushes and, and by the way, Michael is uh, is almost my neighbor because he really lives uh, near me. Oh, wow. But unfortunately, yes, but he never, uh, he's never <laughs> here. He's always around the world. And sometimes we chat a little bit and say, oh, why do you, don't you give classes in watercolor uh, here in Montreal? Oh, no, I'm going to the... To, uh Riverside, so that's how I I yeah. place yeah. and that's well, it. At some point. It's um, always great to be with you. With you all. Great. Thank you, Laurel. All right. Let's see who's next. Who's how about uh Roberta? Okay, I can share a couple with you that I just did for my, oh, I I take, a, I have a mentor through Mastrius, and uh, so mine are my homework. I will try and screen share. Okay, just a minute. Mm -hmm. it won't share sorry i got something i'm gonna go share and then i have to unshare because it's not working okay, <laughs> okay let's try this again okay so i've got um so this one was uh, a waterfall that i did for my master's class, just we were talking about painting moving water. Nice. Very nice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is uh, the photo, the reference photo is Tangle Falls from Alberta. Uh, oh. I think it's in Banff. Tanglefoot Falls? I know that I, fall. Yeah, yeah. So mine's maybe a little fuller than it is up here, but <laughs> that, that was yes. my reference photo anyway. And then... Um, if I can, I think I have a couple more here. I have to have some kitty pictures in between. <laughs> <laughs> so there's uh this one I did just for um there was a critique and I just wanted to submit a painting and I so I got this ready for the critique and then they never got to it. So um this was just from a photo from the Quipel Valley um mm -hmm. when I was there in uh September. And I want to minimize this to find the the controls are in the way, so I can't actually. Oh, there. Let me go back here. Then I don't have to show you any more cat pictures. <laughs> so this one, I was pleased with the light in this one. Um, it was just again just an exercise. Uh, Anyway. Nice. 
Nice. Sorry. Um, okay, and then I think that's about it, really. There's another smaller one, but I'm not real happy with it. So that's good enough for now. Great. Okay, thank you, Roberta. Um, there we go. Waterfalls are yep. challenging. Okay. How about Adele next? Thank you. That came together. That one. I, but I like waterfalls and I've painted quite a few. Unmute. Um, so I was lucky enough to paint in Italy recently um, wow. for a week with Graham Booth. Uh, he's a I guess he's a Scottish painter. I really should know. Um, but so it was all plein air. And I learned so much with him because he uh, he almost exclusively paints plein air. And um, I wrote copious notes. And um, I think everybody, it was at the water mill at Passera, which if you're ever wanting to go to an Italian painting holiday, send me a note. It's, uh, it was just beyond my expectations. So it was great. Um, a lot of the plein air paintings I didn't finish. I have a couple that I did finish, but I can't find them right now. Um, this was just a, a tree. Um, I think they call them plain trees. Um, this was a lot of architecture and I, I never do architecture. Um, so I still haven't finished this, which I guess someone else was commenting about how hard plein air is. I find it's okay if you don't finish it and you finish it in the studio because you get the whole feeling of the, of the scene and, you know, you're, able to edit it down and try to simplify it. And when you go back and you have all these pictures, you know, I think you know more about what to focus on. Um, some of them were hard. This was a mountain scene with smoke and uh, mist and, you know, trying to capture this little tiny city. And, you know, being in Ontario, we don't have too many mountains, so I don't get a chance to paint them too much. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I just thought it was outstanding. The course is, was in between um, Pisa and Cinque Terre. And mm -hmm. uh, we painted Cinque Terre, but um, there were so many buildings there and cliffs and like water this. and boats and things like that. I do have a couple of sketches, but I don't have anything close to a pen painting from that. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, I would do it again if they did it somewhere else with Graham because, uh, you know, it, it's just, he's a really good teacher, really he was beyond my expectations anyway. Could you please repeat his name? I didn't catch it. Uh, Graham Booth. So it's Graham with an E. Uh-huh. And then Booth. Okay, thank you. And he's he's very loose and um, he has a methodology, I guess, similar to Andy Evanson. Um, but yeah, just to... Very good with the process of painting plein air as well. So loved it. Okay, thank you, Adele. You're Any, welcome. Uh, oh, by the way, I sent in that painting to the uh, mayor of Port Severn, Mike Burnett, and he called me uh, yesterday to thank me for the painting. So. He said, uh, oh, that's nice. come and give him a call for coffee next time I'm in Port Severin, but I don't know <laughs> when that's going to be. Okay. So, <laughs> so that was nice. I'm glad he got it. I thought I'd send yeah. it to him. You know, it doesn't mean much to me, but I figured uh, the mayor of Port Severin might appreciate it. Apparently, they yeah. spent a lot of money for that for that dam. So. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we should have taken more pictures that day. I was looking through and I didn't really have uh, too much to yeah. post from that. Okay, thank you. Uh, Laurel Best. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, I'm going to share my screen here. Oh, Laurel Best is my new friend on Facebook, I think. Yes, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, somebody was talking about Michelle, and I saw her make a comment on IWS, so I befriended her on Facebook. So, yeah, <laughs> it's nice to see you in on Zoom, <laughs> not in person, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, I painted this from a picture I took at the Royal Botanical Gardens in Burlington, uh, in the Rose Garden of, of a rose, obviously. And uh, I taught this at my last class. It, it was uh, too challenging for three hours, but um, I, I gave my students what they needed to, to finish it. So I'm looking forward to see how they, how they do with it. So that is one of the things I've done recently. Uh, back in May, we uh, went on a safari in Africa. And uh, this is from one of the photos I took. I was really happy with this photo because the three giraffes all lined up and headed in the same direction. I'm, I'm not quite done with this one yet. I think I'll add some acacia trees in there, uh, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with, uh, with my giraffes here. So yeah, that's, that's what I've been up to lately. Great, any questions that's for smart. Laurel? Sorry. Yeah, when can we go out for coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Soon, we, sure. We, yeah, that'd be live, great. Yeah, I mean, we live in the same city, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Actually, uh, I was going to do a few more uh, get-togethers around Toronto. Uh, there's a coffee place nearby, Oakwood Espresso. It's uh, on Oakwood, so basically just uh, south of the Allen Road. For anyone coming from north york and also easy to get to from anyone downtown and they've just opened up some new space so they've offered it to me to uh have any kind of little classes there or any get together things um so very reasonably uh so I'll, I'll let you guys know when i have more info on that because that's uh would be a good chance to meet up with people all the local iws canada members nice. and it's a coffee place so they make, they make great coffee i gotta say too Mm -hmm. sounds good okay thank you laurel and Welcome. let's see how about mark begbie next yeah hi everyone um this month was quite a bit of traveling um went through to cape breton i uh, got a lot of uh took a lot of photos a lot of not great things to paint there so um Bought those home, but I could get stuck in some, some time. And then um, I was in Montreal last week. And also, again, took a lot of um, material to uh, to work on at home. Um, I've just been uh, working on some minor stuff that uh, I can show uh, in the end. Um, how do I remove the blur? Does anyone know how to remove the screen blur? <laughs> I think you go to vid video settings uh, under video. Oh, there we go. That's better. So my other works, just uh, some paintings uh, yeah, in, in the studio, that kind of thing. Um, well, this one's gouache, but it's... Uh, Took a lot of time and it was a lot of fun, but uh, I do love my cars, so uh, painting cars, and then um, some uh, abstract landscapes, which is a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Nice, which is, mm. yeah, that's uh, my favorite kind of work. I love the sky. Yeah, 
um, this is this is when you got the least amount of control, and you just gotta let the watercolors do what they do, and you just have faith in watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> If you uh, if you follow Angela Fair, yes, very much her style. Yeah, yeah. And I I whenever I need a little bit of loosening up, I just pull out one of her videos and and follow her. I actually had her here for a workshop, and she's a wonderful person, and yeah. uh, just a really different style of watercolor. Yes, yeah. She's very. I've been following her for a number of years as well. Um, got a lot of inspiration from her as well. Yeah. yeah. How do you spell uh, her last name? I yeah. think it's F E H R. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. And then other other news that I, um, I've been honored and um, um, humbled to um, being um, asked to be one of the brand ambassadors for Daniel Smith. Yay! So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, congrats! Thank you. Yeah, that happened this month as well. So, I suppose it's been a good month. <laughs> congratulations! Yeah, thank you. I'm curious, how does that happen? Does Daniel Smith find you, or do you uh, sort of approach Daniel Smith, or like, or not just Daniel Smith, but any other? Well, the way it ha happened with me, I know that they do look uh, for you know people that are using their their their, their uh, materials. Um, the way it happened for me is that um, John Cogley from uh, Daniel Smith, he's been doing live webinars every Thursday and Friday for the past four years, and um, I've been following him and, and uh, been in communication with them for a very long time, um, with uh, John and Catherine and. Um, yeah, it, it just drew from there. That's uh, you know, they we drew um, their friendship and generosity, and uh, yeah, so that's how it happened for me. I know they do, you know, look for people that are um, doing different kinds of work that uh, will display their their products first, and um, so yeah. But so uh, yeah, if if anyone. I can highly recommend if anyone's got the time on Thursday afternoons or or uh, Friday afternoons, um, joining in on their uh, webinars on 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 Thursdays it's just uh, something about the products, and then on Fridays they have a guest artist to uh, present their stuff. Um, and it's always it's always great, and you meet a lot of people from around the world. Yeah, they're very generous with sharing information yeah. I, i've watched some of their facebook uh presentations okay. yeah and, and what is the name again of what sorry the, of the webinars webinar um you'll find it on their websites um uh, it's just uh it's live with john cogley on thursdays yeah if you go on just on facebook find daniel smith on facebook Oh yeah, yeah. And follow them. That's that's where they do them. Okay. You learn so much, actually. Oh, yeah. Some amazing things on like the pigments and stuff, and where they come from, and yeah. And you, no matter what you ask, you'll find out the answer for you. And I mean, the way they've developed their website, it is so focused on the artist. From all the feedback that that uh, we've given them, and people have asked questions and everything. It's just quite amazing that um, they've gone way beyond uh, to really help the artist. Mm. Yeah. I've gone full out for Daniel Smith watercolors. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I love their uh, the granulating ones. They have some. Oh, beautiful, yes. Uh, the genuine, usually, if it's genuine, it's a nice granulating. Uh, Jadeite Genuine is a wonderful granulating. Uh, green. Yes. Yeah, I use that one as well. And uh, serpentine as well. Oh, I just bought green. serpentine not long ago. <laughs> I just love it. I'm using everything. Yes. That's another one. It's just, yeah, you can't get enough of it. Yeah. And uh, zoocyte. Zoocyte yes. lovely for anything that's rocks or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, thanks, well, Mark. Thank uh, let's uh, go to Nella now. Hey, Nella. Hi, everybody. Uh, sorry, I got I was late coming in. Um, I uh, uh, I'm embarrassed to say I have nothing to show you. <laughs> because I've been spending most of my time writing. I'm, I'm finishing up a project, but um, I, I also wanted to attend tonight, notwithstanding my lack of product, to, because I was interested the last time we had a meeting here in Toronto, Ian mentioned the possibility of a, of a painting trip to Mexico. And I just wanted to be sure I heard about it if it was, uh, it were, if it was being explored further. Yeah, we're still, uh, so Tara Lojero from IWS Mexico is, was there in uh, Vancouver. So I'm waiting for her to let me know about uh, what possible hotels there are. So yeah, any updates, so, I'll let, let you know as soon as we get them. Oh, okay. So it is likely to go ahead? Well, I, I don't know. She's It's, it's getting kind of late now um, with the planning. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, at the very, very least, um, you know, it is also how many people we get as well. But the very, very least, if you're going no matter what, uh, of course, we can get you uh, hooked up with her to go and pay a visit to the gallery and uh, tour around Koyoa Khan. Um, I'm not sure she, how many. She lives there? She lives yeah, there? She li yeah, she lives nearby there. And I'm sure she'd love to show you around. So worst case scenario, uh, even if you go off, off schedule, um, I can put you in touch with her. She's very friendly. I'm sure she'd love to show you the, the gallery and show you around Koyawa Khan. Is that anywhere near Puerto Vallarta? No. Huh. No, it's in Mexico City. So that's... Oh. The, fl <laughs> the, 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 the flights are quite cheap within Mexico. Yeah. So you can probably fly there for 150 bucks or so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is in Mexico City itself. And that, and that goes for anybody. If anyone's traveling to Mexico City, I can put you in touch with her if you want to go check it out. So, yeah, we're still kind of trying to plan it, but We'll see what response we have at the moment, and you know, worst case scenario, we can just put you in touch with her, and you can you can go visit. With have you have and... you put out a call to see what kind of interest yeah, there is I, amongst I, the group? I, I did a few months ago, and didn't have a whole lot, so I'll put out another one shortly. I've been waiting for the uh, the updates on the the hotel prices. So um, yeah, it's getting probably late for a lot of people now, so we might have to do it the next year. Uh, but, but if I'm likely going to go no matter what, but, um, depending, it depends on the timing. Um, uh, we'll see, uh, how that works, but, there's, um, um no, I don't know where it is, but there's someone with Mastrius that actually has a retreat and art retreat mm -hmm. building, like a resort kind of thing there. Uh, Jane, and I can't remember her last name, maybe some Romanescu. Yes. I think yeah, so. Yeah, Jane Romanescu. Yeah, she's on yes. the on the yeah. west coast. Yeah. So, oh, oh, she's in a different place then. Okay. Yeah, she's on the west coast of Mexico. Yeah. Apparently, her facility is very nice. Yeah, good friend of mine. Hmm. Nice lady. Excellent Russian Russian taught. Good. All right. Okay, uh, Natalia. Thank you. Natalia, are you there? Yes, sorry. Okay. Yes, I think I unmuted. Yep. Yes. Right. Sorry for uh, joining late. Uh, nice to see you all, guys. Unfortunately, I could not uh, go to British Columbia. Starting getting sick and still <laughs> in that stage a bit. Um, but uh, I had quite productive time here. I was still teaching. Um. Yesterday, uh, there was a reception opening of Toronto Watercolor Society annual exhibition, and uh, I got uh, an award after one of the artists. Uh, so, sorry, this is uh, the award, and it's called uh, Ralph Plevgen Award for Best Composition uh, for my painting, Nicole. Yes. And uh, um, it was given by his daughter, who is also an artist, and she spent uh, five day, uh, five last years uh, caring of her, her father. Father passed away last year at 99. 
Yeah, so I met very uh, many nice people, and especially I like the response on my on my um, artwork. Um, just one second. Yes, so yeah, very valuable time. I also submitted recently the work to next year for Brianna in watercolor exhibition. And uh, this is uh, the portrait of one of the French uh, artists who I met last year, not actually last year, this year at Fabriana in watercolor. So he is the age of my mom, 86 now. Michelle. Yes, uh, uh, so this is the painting. It's wonderful. Thank you very Thanks. much. Uh, yes, it's a uh, half uh, size uh, 15 to 22 um, inches. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to open, uh, uh, not actually open, I just invite more people to join my um, winter uh, Christmas uh, subject um, course, which I will start uh, from November 6 uh, till uh, 18th of December, it's every Monday from 7 to 9 p.m. by Toronto, and it will be all about Christmas. I want people to relax, to relax, beside of, of course, it's always intense. My classes are very intense and lots of uh, uh, Lots of knowledge uh, I'm sharing with my students. Um, so it's not for the beginner's uh, level. I'm going to uh, give several subjects such as uh, um, landscape, Christmas landscape. And then it will be a uh, child's uh, portrait, but not the whole uh, proper portrait, just uh, um, the child um, playing with the animal or uh, decorating the Christmas tree. Uh, also will be um, some ornaments, uh, vintage, uh, vintage uh, post, uh, postcard, Christmas postcard. So different, different uh, um, subjects, but all related to Christmas. I don't know, I think I shared with you already that uh, my paintings were um, chosen for printing the Christmas cards where the income will go to charity. So this one and this. So those were my paintings. And uh, this is what will be uh, printed this year for Christmas. Uh, I advise you also to participate wherever you see any uh, a call for artists. And uh, honestly, it would be great if uh, all of us would share more information about uh, uh, call for entries, uh, uh, different exhibitions all over the world where we can participate. Um, International Watercolor Society is one uh, source. Uh, there are Fabriana and Watercolor. It's a, another uh, kind of uh, um, organization, I would say, that's very famous. For me, it's one of the most important. Um, for Toronto Watercolor Society, you have to be the member, you have uh, to submit, and uh, they don't really accept too many paintings, but 75 paintings are currently at the exhibition, and those who live in Toronto and around, I would advise you still to visit it. Uh, the exhibition is open every, um, from Wednesday to, uh, from Wednesday to uh, Sunday, uh, from 11 to uh, 4. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. I will be there uh, on Sunday 5th uh, of November and I will be sitting there because we have to be volunteers to sit and uh, assist the uh, visitors. So if you would like to meet me in person and to get uh, me kind of uh, guide over that exhibition, you guys are welcome to come. Uh, the information is on my um, page on Facebook. And you can see uh, all about the courses which I uh, teach and uh, about this exhibition as well. Natalia, are your courses in person or online? Uh, it's online. It's online. Uh, I teach in person, uh, uh, mainly kids, uh, children from 6 mm -hmm. to 16. 
And I also give private lessons and uh, also work on portfolio with the students who are going to apply either to high school art program or university art program. Uh, so th that particular course is uh, online in Zoom, two hours from 7 to 9 p.m. And I record my courses and share it with students after. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a group um, at Messenger where I give the reference photos in advance. And uh, you can see that this is my camera, so that's how I teach. Um, I show every step and then I check um, and give feedback to my students. I have big screens so I can see their work and give them uh, the feedback right away. And uh, at the end, uh, um, as soon as the meeting is uh, um, the recording is processed uh, on the cloud of Zoom, I send them the link to recording, they download and uh, have it forever and can practice on the week. Uh, so this is my practice. Uh, I don't uh, do any courses um, like where I just record my painting, uh, my process and uh, give it away. Uh, it's very uh, live, very interactive uh, course. Um, that's mm -hmm. my style. Do you live, uh, Michelle, do you live in Toronto by any chance? No, I live in Burlington, which is not far from Toronto, but I'm teaching on Monday nights, so I can't can't make it. Um, but i really like to take some courses with you at some point. Um, I also uh, uh, lead uh, Friday from 5 to 6.30. Those are teenagers. And with teenagers, uh, we do quite uh, um, good composition. So this was uh, the last one uh, um, where I show them um, the negative painting technique. And here I used Rockwell uh, Canada uh, paints. And also you can see this is not like everyone I have, but at least I share what we can get by using uh, watercolor powder. So this oh, is brush yes. for white blue. Uh, I can show you guys how it works um, if you wish. If you have time, I can show you how it works. And you can uh, get different, different uh, effects by using it. It's very uh, rich, very rich uh, pigment. So it's you need just a little bit. And uh, that's how just, you can. Hmm? Just keep in mind, Natalia, uh, we're already over time. Okay, I have to go, that's it. I have Sorry. To, I, I have to go myself uh, in uh, 20 minutes. So uh, and we've got a draw to do. Um, is it okay if we do that next time? Or if you can you no record it? No problem at all. No problem. If you, if you can record it, I can put it on the YouTube channel and then share it. Uh, there is nothing to record. It's three yeah. minutes to show. So no. Okay. Thank you. If, you can keep, if you can keep it three minutes, um, I guess we just have... Uh... <laughs> okay, Ian, it's all right. Those yeah. who want to see it, they can always reach me and I can... Uh... Sure. Yeah. Okay, so anybody uh, who wants to follow up, uh, contact Natalia. And I see from can... Adele, uh, Adele uh, is asking what kind of show she missed in Toronto. It's Toronto Watercolor Society Annual Jury okay. Exhibition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Natalia. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one we have is Luan. Luan, how you been doing? Hmm. Luan, you're muted. There you go. Yeah, I messed up the time, so I just got on it. So, you know, I miss a lot of work from you guys probably. But it's nice to see everybody here and some some new faces I haven't met, so great. Great, that that's it. <laughs> and my, well, yeah, everyone anything else? Share the work or what? Uh, yeah, do you want to show something you've done recently? Yeah, I could share one, uh, which I feel pretty good at it. Okay. Yes, last Saturday I was doing a demo for Toronto Watercolor Society. And uh, this one here, I did it in one hour. And, oh, I, I lost that. Mm. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Quick draw. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, you know, uh, this one here, I'm pleased because uh, it's one goal. 
uh, I did not have anything that repeated afterward. You know, just just go as my, uh, what I feel, and it's loose enough, and the color still maintain. The color uh, is kind of unique to my style, uh, and I ac accomplished this in uh, in one hour. It usually, it takes me a heck of a lot longer. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's everybody. Uh, I didn't miss anyone, did I? Um, I think we got everyone. Did I miss anyone? To speak up if I missed anyone? No, I don't think so. Okay. So now it's time for our big draw. I've put everything into the bowl here. So I'm going to. Push it around and this is for the auto watercolor paints. Old Town Toronto watercolor. Thanks to Eileen Riley. Uh, a few of us met her for coffee down in uh, Old Town Toronto. What's it called? The uh, distillery district. And she hand makes these paints, uh, grinds them up herself by hand, takes her hours for everyone. So it's very unique. So the winner is Mariana Mariova, Marianova. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Mariana. Congratulations. Oh boy, again. <laughs> Thank you. So you win the much coveted auto watercolors. But if you didn't win this time, I'm pleased to say we've got a lot of prizes on the way, like brush kits from uh, Maple, Maple, uh, what's it called? Golden Maple Brushes. Uh, I've got these wallets, watercolor brush wallets, and I'm going to visit Rockwell uh, on Tuesday, and uh, I'm going to uh, speak to them, and maybe we can get some paints and stuff. That would be nice to have. So yeah, I'm going to do a video there and film it and interview them. So yeah, we have lots of stuff now ever since the exhibition for giveaways. So the brushes are actually very nice. They're, uh, I, I believe it's Sable is, you know, at least the biggest one is. But um, yeah, I forgot them in the other room, but uh, I'll post them later and you'll see. So that'll be our next draw. We're going to have these more often, at least once a month, we're going to have a draw for some kind of prize or another. So that's some good news. Keep people involved and engaged. And uh, our next thing is the um, magazine. So Cynthia is busy working on the magazine at the moment. I think she sent out some emails for interviews and uh, we're probably due for another 3D gallery pretty soon, but you know, we'll have all kinds of stuff on the way. So stay tuned and yeah. Any questions, any last comments before we sign off? Rihanna, if you could send me your uh, address, I, I can post that to you this week. Oh, uh, we can meet at that coffee place. Sure. Yeah. yeah you, okay. I'll, you I'll let you know. I'll let you know uh, when I get that set up because yeah, that shouldn't be too hard because you just go down the Allen Road and uh -huh. just off of Oakland. I think it will be easier for you. Yeah. Mariana, yeah, it's, do it's... you live in Toronto? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were from British Columbia. <laughs> no, I'm in Toronto. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good night, All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, and thanks for Thank all you. your all yeah, your you entries stay. and sorry. Can you stay for five, ten minutes after the meeting, please? Sure, sure. Okay. I can stay for five. I gotta go pretty soon, but five minutes is okay. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.